Hey guys, it's Pin Master here. I'm here with Vato, and we're gonna talk about last week's UFC Wichita. 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 It was a good. It was a good card. But let's go over a couple of the, these fights. And I wanna. I wanna show you how the other person could have won or lost, or why they won or why they lost. Let me just show you. I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna break it down. First fight I wanna talk about is Marion uh, Renault versus Yana. I can't even. I'm not even gonna try to say her last name. I thought Marion won. Definitely thought she won. It was close, but I definitely thought she won. But she lost the split decision. I Why think it was split. Uh, Why do you think she? I think because the other girl uh, maybe had more height behind her, um, was taller, and was looks like she was landing more, but she wasn't. Um, but then if you look at the other girl's face, it was pounded up, yeah, and Marianne's wasn't. But anyway, this one I thought Marion could have done a little bit more of. Okay. A lot of her stuff, she landed a left hook and a right. And then she just finished there. So she bing bing. And then sometimes she just landed a beautiful right hand. A lot of times that right hand's not gonna knock people out. It just knocks their head back. It's the left hook that's gonna knock them out. So when she's just setting up the right hand with a left hook, just for the right hand, it snapped, it snapped her head back and Yana got a really bad welt on her eye. But I think if Marion came back with the left hook, not just let off with it, but came back with it. Because when you lead with the left hook, you're not throwing everything behind it. You just kind of touch to touch the right hand. But then if she came back with a power left hook after that right hand, I think it would have caught her on the chin and hurt her, maybe even knocked her out. So the rule that I, that I like to put out there is reset, huh? reset with the left hook, reset with the left hook. Reset with that left hook. Every time you throw a right, come back with a left, Always. even if it doesn't land. Always. Always. Right. The next fight I want to talk about is Anthony Rocco versus Sergio Moraes. Um, Moraes. This was a good fight. Sergio didn't really get that much of a, a, a of an offense going. He threw some nice looping punches, which knocked people out usually. But Anthony was able to hurt that leg. So let's go back over here where you can see the legs about right here. She was, he was doing that new thing, the low leg kick, the calf, 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 kick. calf kick. The calf kick, all right? It's just a leg kick. It's blocked the same way. He kept landing it over and over, and it hurts because there's nothing down there but bone, ligaments, and muscle. It hurts, yes. okay? So how to, how to stop that, is all you do is you point, and not all you do, because this is easier said than done, but this is how you do it. You point your toe at about 10 o'clock. So you're facing your opponent, you point your toe at about 10 o'clock, and then you put your weight on it. Even if you're coming forward punching, just come out in a little weirder angle. You won't have the mobility, but if he if keeps catching you with that kick, and you're not able to, to check it, just turn your foot out to about 10 o'clock. Then if he catches you, he's gonna find your shin. And then it's shin on shin. And usually when it's shin on shin, the kicker hurts more than the kicky. But so just turn your leg out, put your weight on it, and, and uh, throw your punches from there. All right, that's it. Hey, but if you notice, what? Do you even see people checking legs in MMA really? Now they don't check them as much as they as they should. But but the reason about the reason I'm I'm, I'm kind of bypassing checking, checking is a great way to defend the leg kick. But sometimes even if people don't know how to they do know how to leg check, just don't do it. The timing just isn't off. I know how to leg check, and I thought guys that just kept kicking, and I just I didn't get the timing down. So if you can't get the timing down, turn your leg out. And it's an automatic check. All right. All right, third fight I want to talk about is, uh, was De Santos, not the main event De Santos, Dos Santos, but the, uh, one of the prelims, he fought Melander, Curtis. Curtis Curtis, okay? The biggest mistake I think Curtis Curtis made was in his defense, takedown defense, was he was up too tall. He was up like a kickboxer instead of being down like an MMA fighter or a street fighter, okay? Either way, you don't want to get taken down. Some of these kickboxers are so used to standing up tall, they're not, they're not ready for the takedown. They try to, they work on, they work on sprawl, 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 
But it's easier not to have to sprawl. Lower your level a little and be at angles more. If you're standing up always trying to sprawl, when a good wrestler like Dos Santos comes along, you can't sprawl your way out of that. So you need to move your way out of that and level your way out of that. So he needs to be a little bit lower. He threw that left hook while he, like Maurice was coming down and he was so tall, he was like reaching for the sky. He was like, he threw that left hook and, and, and uh, DeSantis just, just changed his level and came right in. He was too tall, okay? So you can't do that. Last fight I want to talk about is Junior DeSantos. Chicago. Beautiful, oh man, what a great fight. He's so good. I loved it when he sang happy birthday to his daughter when they had the, he got the mic after the fight. Did you see that? His post-fight interview, he's just always smiling. He's always, happy. he's always happy. I know him too, and he's always like that. Cigano. You see him in the gym, you see him you know, outside the gym, he is always smiling and happy. He gets the microphone, he's getting interviewed, and it's his daughter's birthday. He like says, okay audience, uh, I want you to sing with me. And he starts singing happy birthday to his daughter, and the whole audience started singing. That's cool. It was one of the best, best uh, after fight interviews that I've ever seen. Anyway, what he did was very simple. He got, he got uh, Derek against the, uh, against the cage, nowhere to go. Derek was moving this way, so he threw a spinning back kick. Oh. Boom, right in the liver, Derek Lewis. That was the beginning the end for him. Um, great fight, it was a great night. Thanks for coming guys, please, Please, spun, uh, subscribe. please subscribe, share, share, comment, comment, like. We'll get back to you. Thanks.